Hello y'all, this is Red Flood, a mod for Hearts of Iron 4 that asks the question, what if no one actually won World War I? We are going to play as the country Yugoslavia. This nation has been unified under a pan-Slavic identity and was forged in the fires of the Great War. With that said, the Yugoslav state must choose its own destiny, be it led by occultists, technocrats, or those nostalgic for a bygone age. Starting off in the focus tree, we will do all Belgrade National Congress and Hay Slabs. That second focus will lead to the Electoral Congress, which is where we will select the successor for the leader we start off with, who is going to resign. Aristocrats take Madagascar and Nikola Tesla, a famous Serb inventor who was living in the United States, has made his way to Yugoslavia with the intention of maybe becoming the person in charge of the nation. Dmitrievich, the leader of Yugoslavia, announces his resignation and a few prominent individuals have put forth their proposals to replace him. One of the people who did so is a guy we want to keep track of, and that is Augustin Udrevich. The Electoral Council's safety. We must choose someone to provide the security for the event that will decide the new leader of the country. Let's go with Gustav Kurklic, a Croatian writer who is a good friend of Udrevich. The Electoral Congress will decide Dmitrievich's successor now. Let's have them elect Tin Ulevich, who will, as a result of his victory, defeat Nikola Tesla in his attempt to rise to power. With our choice made, we will now do the focuses progressive pan-slavism, purge the international avant-garde, nationalna avant-garde Vedic system, national mysticism, free eagles of the fatherland, and myth of barbarians. A civil war has broken out in the neighboring nation of Austria between the despotic Austrian Reich and the socialist Austrian Commune. Tin Ulevich is firmly in power now, and he represents those of the accelerationist ideology in Yugoslavia, more specifically those who fall in line with the sub-ideology of national rejuvenation. Tin Ulevich, or Augustin Josip Ulevich, historically was a Croatian poet. Apparently, he is considered to be the greatest poet of 20th century Croatian literature. He wrote a lot of stuff besides poetry, including essays and short stories, and also translated numerous works to the Croatian language. While we're here, I'm going to briefly talk about Hyperborea, because it is a term that will be seen later on. But anyway, Hyperborea can be simplified as a mythical land in the far northern part of the world, and for whatever reason, sometimes different groups of people like to identify themselves as Hyperboreans. To the northeast in the Russian Empire, the supreme leader, Alexander Kochak, has been assassinated. More developments from Russia. In the fallout of the death of Kochak, a conflict has started between the Novorossian general governorate and the empire. With our leadership issues sorted out, Yugoslavia can expand into the Balkans. It is for that reason we have started justifying a war goal on the Bulgarian Republic. Far off in North America, but still kind of relevant because they are also accelerationist, Technocracy Inc. has won the USA general election. We are ready to move into Bulgaria. I have no clue how large their army is, but I will guess and say ours is bigger. At least I hope it is. The initial offensive is going mostly well. The only real trouble we are having is the assault on the province outside the enemy capital of Sofa. With enough time though, we should be able to break through somewhere else and encircle any units, giving us problems. Southern Bulgaria is more or less ours. Three opposing divisions have been trapped and we are pushing our way towards Plovdiv and beyond. The foe is beaten. We could give the Bulgarians a puppet state, but that doesn't make Yugoslavia itself bigger, so let's just annex everything instead. Continuing our expansion, we are at some point going to attack the Kingdom of Romania, and then eventually after that, we will invade Moldova. Somewhere on the other side of the Black Sea, the Southeastern Union decided to declare war on the Orenburg People's Republic. I'm not sure how they got there, but a bunch of Spanish soldiers are wandering through our country right now. I guess in order to get back to their homeland, I don't know. More focuses, let's finish the political part of the tree by completing Slavic Cynicalism, Social and National Order, and Balkan Hyperborea. 
A strange report has come in saying that vampires have been spotted raiding towns in Serbia. We can't have this going on, so we shall assemble a brigade of soldiers to stop these blood-sucking fiends. We have put together a vampire hunter division that is well equipped with firearms and motorized trucks. The fanged menace stands no chance. In other news, we have gone to war with Romania. I believe we do outnumber them so we will be able to overwhelm their defenses very soon. We managed to secure the Romanian coastline, and by using that, we are going to maneuver around the hostile units and capture Bucharest without any issues. Yet another country has been integrated into Yugoslavia. Now we will prepare for the next part of the plan, which consists of invading Moldova. The Austrian Reich, who won their civil war earlier, has made the decision to fight Switzerland. Time for some foreign policy. Let's complete the focuses, the future of Yugoslavia, revolutionary pan-Slavism, and approach Poland. We are marching into Moldova. This should be a brief war because we are taking advantage of gaps in the Moldovan lines. The next nation that will be forced to become part of Yugoslavia is the Kingdom of Transylvania, then Albania, and then perhaps, if it's possible, Greece. Poland guaranteed our independence, that's good. Now we will do the focuses Slavic Brotherhood, join Intermarium, and Between Three Seas. Oh wow, in Asia, Taiwan is invading mainland China. I wonder how that's going to go for them. We're at war with Transylvania, and we are also justifying on the Kingdom of Montenegro, who is a puppet of Italy, but we have cores on all of their territory. So Italians or no Italians, we want that land. Poland then let us join the Intermarium faction. Maybe it has to do with the fact our ruling party is accelerationist and theirs is progressive? Who knows? Forget justifying on Montenegro, we have a decision that would basically give us the war goal for free. Speaking of Montenegro, their overlord Italy is about to get into a fight with our neighbor Fiume, which would give us the perfect opportunity to strike. It's begun. Our strategy here is to assault everything and hope that will do the job. So far, it seems to be working. Between Three Seas is done, and what that does is give us more diplomacy-related decisions that will let us start more wars. Isn't that great? In the focus tree, we are moving on to the economy. Because of our political path, we can choose either the socialist model or the corporate model. Let's go with the one on the left. Montenegro was secured by Yugoslavia. I think we're still at war with Italy, maybe? Oh well, let's just ignore that and take out Albania. The Italians control the port of Flora for whatever reason. Let's have some fun with this by letting their troops come in, wait for them to spread out all over the place, then destroy them one at a time in small pockets. The encirclement plan is underway, and because we can, let's get military access from Fiume. A bunch of Italy's soldiers are stuck on our border with the Greeks, and if we take a look at the casualties, Yugoslavia has taken 30,000, and in return has inflicted 166,000 on the Kingdom of Italy. The Italians are no longer an issue for us, so we're hitting Greece next. We've already trapped some of their troops in Thrace, and thus we will make our way to the important enemy city of Athens. We are victorious, and like every conquest before it, we will take everything. This even includes the state of Smyrna, which is located in Anatolia. We asked Hungary for the return of, quote, rightful Slavic lands, and they said yes. How kind of them. Slovenia was one place that was on our list of things we would fight for, but Hungary helped Germany crush Austria, so they got it for themselves. We'll live though because even without Slovenia, we have created a Balkan powerhouse, which is home to many different ethnic groups, but more importantly, it essentially dominates this part of the continent. This video is over. If you enjoyed the mod, check it out in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment because it helps the algorithm recommend the video more. Have an awesome day. I'll see y'all later. Bye.